This is a small uh, Acacia natural edged bowl and I've made a five minute video which shows preparing the log, mounting it on the lathe and turning it so that it ends up looking like this. And so here we go. Chainsaw. Put the log in two. I screw a bit of wood on the bottom to uh, secure it for the next bit because I don't like uh, small bits of wood. Uh, with a chainsaw they tend to jump and uh, it's not very nice. Mark a rough circle. Nibble off the edges so I get a sort of a roughly bounded octagonal sort of shape log. That will be the inside of the bowl and I'm drilling a hole in the middle so I can mount it on a expanding jaw chuck on the lathe and I'm mounting it between centers so it's secured between this big lump of metal here which is the tailstock and the chuck which is on the headstock. Just expand the jaws, make sure everything's well, so well locked in and we start by nibbling off with, with you know not very fast revolutions but we just nibble away to take off the uh, the rough edges and we get a, a sort of rounded piece of wood and on this lathe the headstock swings out of the way which is very handy because you can get kind of into the into the work and now we can shape the, the bowl into its final shape and a sharp gouge make a hole in the bottom Let's see what that's for in a second. And I'm going quite deep on that hole, so I get a good a good fixing, and I don't bust the uh, the edge of the wood when the jaw expands. A bit of scraping to just smooth off the shape before sanding. A bit of round nose scraper there just to uh, get that kind of concave curve nice and smooth. The sanding. I'm wearing a uh, protective filter helmet and I've got an extractor fan in a hole in the wall opposite the lathe which just sucks the dust out into the car. And dust is uh, not nice for the lungs. And then we do power sanding with a drill. I think I noticed uh, at a later stage in that drill that the, it's on uh, hammer action so it makes a funny noise occasionally when I press it onto the work. And that's what that hole in the bottom is for. So now we can reverse the piece, secure it to the lathe, and hollow out the inside with a bowl gouge. And um, yeah, a little bit of care needed uh, because this is you know the, the outside is asymmetric uh, in one dimension and one direction, and the bark can fly off. So you know, that sharp tool, steady cuts. So a lot of it is really just. Um, mindless carving really, cheese grating, which is what I like about it. And there's that delicate cut on the edge, sharp tool, steady pressure, and follow through so we don't get any lines and don't have too much sanding to do on the inside. It's quite focused, mindless focused. A number of all like that take 45 minutes maybe something. Maybe an hour depends, I can't even remember. Time doesn't really enter into it once you go onto the, onto the work. And there she is, ready for, for sanding on the inside. Little bowl, very simple, it's a bit clunky, but I was just trying, I wanted to try and make a film, so I was kind of playing with my iPad at the same time. So now I'll sand the inside. The power sanding, and get some filters, the whole thing. Here we feel we've got to get that kind of action mistake. And once we've got our piece ready to go, it can track across my very messy workshop, which is great fun, and join its friends on the sort of drying, finishing shelves. And a little corner for them there. And 
that's it really. So thank you. Any comments or inquiries, you can email me at my website.